in this lecture we will be looking at some basics of probability for machine learning we'll start with events sample spaces and random variables so sample space is a set of possible outcomes in your domain suppose you have a coin and a coin can land heads or tails then your sample space is composed of heads and tails set of possible outcomes that can be in your domain and usually you will have seen this in the form of a truth table where there are many different possible outcomes along with a value that indicates the probability of that outcome it can also be infinite for example it could be a set of real numbers so let's consider two random variables to understand this better suppose we have a boolean random variable x a boolean random variable is similar to a coin it can have your heads or tails here a boolean random variable can have either true or false values and the sample space for this is true comma false right so because it's either true or false the stock price of google g now this is a continuous random variable where it could have values from a set of real numbers so now our sample space s for g would be a set of reals an event is defined as a subset of s for example for a boolean random variable it is all outcomes where x is equal to true so that's an event stock price of google is between 575 and 580 that is an event you are picking a range of values or some set of possible values and you're saying that your event is composed of this subset of values so by definition event is a subset of your sample space as which consists of all the possible outcomes in your domain to understand this using a venn diagram let's consider the blue rectangle the blue rectangle is compo also encompasses the yellow or green circle so the circle is a world in which a is true and blue rectangle is worlds in which a is false so the blue along with the yellow all the all together composes the sample space and the random variable here in question is a it has two possible outcomes true and false and the event we want to say is a is true so that's the event we are interested in and that is now a subset of this sample space in which you can have both true and false now probability is defined as a function over the events in the sample space so here we have events a is true and a is false and over these two events we can have a function which determines how probable these events are and that is given that is what is called probability okay probability the first thing that you have learned probability is axioms of probability there are four axioms and the first one is i think the most common one and which you would have heard probability always has value between zero and one and then the next couple of ones are probability of true is one and probability of false is zero so probability of true it's not any event where a random variable is true it is probability of true so probability of true means that an event in which all the outcomes occur so for example a coin if you say that it could be either heads or tails right so probability that when you toss a coin either a head or a tail occurs is one because your entire sample space is only composed of those two outcomes and if you say it could be either of them then the probability of getting that is one probability that it is neither heads nor tails 
that would be now zero, right? Because it's you have a sample space and the sample space clearly says that it's composed of heads and tails. And if you were to have an event that is not in your sample space, then that would be the probability of that occurring would be zero. And the fourth one is also pretty easy, um, probability of A or B. So here um, we can understand this using the Venn diagram. So probability of A, so this is given by the yellow rectangle. This is probability of A, right? And probability of B is given by this other rectangle which overlaps with the A rectangle, right? And probability of A or B is essentially this entire space, this space that I'm drawing. You see the blue line. This entire space is probability of A or B. So you can see easily that here probability of A is this red lines right and then probability of b is this green lines so this a and b area which we can mark separately this area now occurs two times both in probability of a and in probability of b so you have to subtract one of them to get this outer rectangle, the blue one that we drew earlier. So that's why we have minus probability of A and B to get probability of A or B. Probability of A or B is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B, this yellow space we colored. 